amazing facts. Since the dawn of the time, there is only one thing that is absolutely common for all of us, irrespective of our races and country, our mother air. From the atmosphere to its core, air is filled with many wonders, most of them had to be discovered. Today, let's have a look at some of the amazing facts of our air. The deepest point of Earth is much deeper than the highest point of Earth. The Challenger's Deep is the known deepest point in the Earth's hydrosphere. The deepest point is around 11,000 meters deep based on the direct submersible measuring devices. In Pacific Ocean near the southern part of Marina Trench close to Marina Island Group. While the highest peak Mount Everest is only 8,848 meters high. In a more practical way to say, you can keep aperture building 24.7 times end to end into the Challenger Stream. There are enough gold resources in the air to go it to a depth of 1.5 feet. You think the gold is a precious metal, right? It's because the air crust holds only 1% of its total gold reserve. Billions of years ago, about 99% of the Earth's gold sank into its center due to the heavier weight. Billions of years ago, when Earth is basically a version of molten magma, gold, platinum or nickel are its basic components. Over the course of 30 to 40 billion years, planets were smaller than Earth crushed together forming the planet that's here today. It is calculated that the Earth core holds about 1.6 quadrillion tons of gold and about 9.6 quadrillion tons of platinum. As passengers of Earth were all carried around the sun with a velocity of 66,600 miles per hour. Consider yourself as a passenger of a spaceship named Earth. It is carrying you around the sun at a speed of around 66,600 miles per hour and is also rotating around itself at a speed of 1000 miles per hour. You don't feel the velocity of the air because of the same reason that you don't feel the velocity of a plane while you are traveling inside it. Velocity is calculated with another object moving at different speed and we can't feel the velocity while you are going in the same speed consistently. If you think that the earth is carrying you fast, you should know that our entire solar system is moving around our galaxy at a speed of 560,000 miles per hour. There are over 1 million man-made objects orbiting our planet Earth. It is estimated that around 6,000 satellites are launched so far and out of them 3,600 are currently functional. The majority of man-made objects floating around Earth are space orbital debris, collection of distant satellites, pieces of rockets, disintegrated fragments, rotated parts, etc. As on 2012, more than 100 million pieces of small trash, smaller than 1 cm, are found in the Earth's orbit. There are also 21,000 pieces of large debris bigger than 10 cm and weighing more than 1 kg found in the Earth's orbit. Of the damage similar to sandblasting, primarily to the solar panels and optics like telescopes. You are worried about deforestation? You should be because around 40% of the Earth's forests are lost in the last 40 years. According to World Wildlife Fund and Geological Society of London, Earth has nearly half the amount of wildlife it had 40 years ago. Land, river and sea creatures are being killed off in the unsustainable proportions when population is poisoning their habitat. Twenty percent of the Earth's oxygen is produced at Amazon rainforest. Forty percent of South America is stored with Amazon river basin which is spread across nine countries and also contains the largest forest in the world, the Amazon rainforest. The Amazon rainforest amounts to more than half of the Earth's rainforest. It inhibits nearly 3 million various species of living things and around 10,000 types of plants. And is also responsible for roughly 20% of the Earth's total oxygen. Many environmentalists are concerned with the massive deforestation currently taking place in South America. 
Around 20% of the Amazon rainforest has been destroyed to be clear for cattle ranches, mining, logging and farming. Indigenous people are also suffering a lot because of this and around 90 tribes have been arrested since 1900. Large parts of Canada have less gravity than the rest of the earth. Also not a major change in certain parts of Canada, a person weighing 150 pounds will find themselves one-tenth ounce lighter. People say that the mantle rock underneath the surface area is slowly flowing downward. They support this theory saying that the ice glaciers present on the area of the crust for more than 20,000 years, creating a similar effect as a person sitting on a viscous waterbed. It felt it so fast the crust hadn't fully returned to its previous state. Areas where it's common for people to live for more than 100 years are known as blue zones. Blue zones are demographic or geological areas of planet Earth where people live considerably longer lives than others. The five blue zones on Earth are Sardinia in Italy, Okinawa in Japan, Nokio Peninsula in Costa Rica, Loma Linda in California, and Ikria in Greece. The flyby anomaly. When spacecrafts do Earth flybys at certain angles, they experience a small but shudder velocity increase, which is still unexplained. One of the proposed explanations is the existence of ring of dark matter around the Earth. This oddity has been spotted by ships of S-band and X-band in the Doppler's ranging telemetry. Together, it creates a remarkable unaccounted velocity increase up to 13 mm per second during flybys. Stephen Hawking says that humanity will not survive without living Earth. Insisting that human beings may have left less than 200 years to figure out how to leave this planet. He says it will be difficult enough to avoid the disaster in the next 100 years, let alone next thousand or million. Our only chance of long-term survival is not to remain inward-looking on planet Earth but to spread out into space. According to him, if the inhabitants unable to flee the planet will have to deal with the man-made catastrophes like the climate change and nuclear and biological warfare. He famously once said that the human race should not have all its eggs in one basket or in one He once famously said that the human race shouldn't have all its eggs in one basket or in one planet. Let's hope we can avoid dropping that basket until we have fed a lot. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to share this video and subscribing us.